Hello everyone, today we're going to be going through the Mini Nug Stronghold. In the top right corner you're going to see a list of items we're going to be collecting, but there's also a requirement of just climbing rope and we're going to need that to get the right translation wheel. So we're just going to get started here. So if you are after the right translation wheel, just make sure you follow the video carefully so you won't get lost. So the dialogue has stopped and now we've been dropped into the facility. All we have to do is run around pressing these buttons until we get to the bottom sewer area and that is where we're going to find our first item. So just click in those two levers and then we're going to head right and then down into the water. Inside that first chest you're going to find two sets of items but also to the right of the chest you're going to see a wheel. Spin that wheel and it's going to unlock one of the locks for the translation wheel. So just continuing onwards, we're going to fall down into a body of water, and in that water we're going to find a lever. Pull the lever and it's going to open a door to the right, and inside that door you're going to find your next two items. All we're doing now is clicking the buttons in the order it's presented to us, and then we head into the water, down the little passageway at the bottom, and then to the next two items. Now we've got the items, we're going to head back out, click that final button, and then continue on with the mission. We're now going to enter the room above, click the button on the far left, and then run to the far right hand side room. Click the console and the light will turn green. That means we can now collect the translation wheel. Using our climbing rope, we're going to climb back up to the star and then head far left. Now we just open the door, go down the airlock, and then into the secret room. And at the bottom of the secret room, you're going to find the translation wheel. Now we have to backtrack once more and end up where we left off. So we've almost made it back now, we're just going to go down the elevator, go around the mutated ape facility, and then click the button to turn off the electricity. Now the electricity is off, we're going to go up the platforms, and instead of going right into the room closest to us, we're going to head downwards and into the room there, and we're going to find our next item. Alright, this part's quite long-winded, we just have to click the button and then kill all the robots as they spawn. As this is happening, once again guys, a big thank you for everyone that is watching the video and has supported the channel thus far. It's been amazing and I really, really appreciate it. So we're almost done now and once we have, we're going to just head to the boss. We simply just climb to the very top and open the door and then let the boss battle begin. I really enjoy this boss, he's one of the more difficult ones, but I have my method for killing him, which is just to find one of the portal weapons and use that to do the majority of the damage for me. But regardless, really enjoy this boss, just make sure you've got plenty of health kits to restore, because you may take a lot of damage. Getting close to finishing him off now. The portal weapon makes things a hell of a lot easier. As expected, we didn't get the weapon on the first try, but we will continue until it does drop. So we're just leaving the facility now, and on the right you're going to find a box, really easy to see and in there you're going to get your last book. And that's pretty much the end. I'm going to start the grind to keep on killing the boss until he drops the launcher. While I was actually grinding for this boss, I wasn't entirely sure if he still dropped it because there is a dungeon within the game which drops a similar kind of rocket launcher and I wasn't sure if they moved this one to there, but it turns out that this boss still drops the launcher which is awesome. While grinding for the rocket launcher, I actually dropped on the figurine for this boss twice. And if you didn't know, each boss has a 5% chance of dropping a figurine specific to that boss. So after killing this boss 16 times, I do eventually drop on the rocket launcher. It took a long time, but it was worth it. Hopefully this video helped you out. I really do appreciate the views and the subscriptions that you guys have been giving me. It has been absolutely amazing, and thank you so much. Now I should add that an interesting thing about this boss and his weapons at the end is that you can actually equip two of them, meaning that you can have one in your left, one in your right hand and fire them independently. I thought that was a really nice touch, so if you want to grind for that second set of rocket launchers you definitely can. Once again, thank you for watching and see ya.